Hi Mike, how are you doing mate? I'm good mate, I'm good. Um, I just want to ask a question, um, you know, if a Muslim or uh, is asking about is Jesus God or if a Christian needs help to be able to give an advice to talk to Muslims, yeah. uh, is there anything you'd like to share? Yes, there is. Okay. Now, if a Muslim says to you, is Jesus God, a good response is to ask him this question. How does Allah create? Now, a Muslim will have to respond that Allah creates by his word. Um, in Surah 345, it says, and Surah 4, 171, and Surah 339, it says Allah creates by his word, and that Jesus is a word of God. Now, if Allah creates by his word, and his word is eternal and it's uncreated, that tells me that Jesus is God, because you can't separate the word of God from God. It's either God or it's not God. You can't separate it and say it's separate because God's word has always existed and the Bible um, backs this up. Okay. Now, if you go to Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim, volume 43, page 21 to 22, it says Jesus is Allah's word. Now, Muslims believe that Allah creates by his word, the word is God, and the word was God, the Bible says in John 1, and the word became flesh. So what I'm actually doing is using their own sources to back up my position that Jesus is God. And there's no way that they can get out of that. There's no way they can slip out of that easily enough. So I just wanted to just mention that to you. So if they do challenge you, just ask them, is God's word eternal? And they'll go, yeah. Is it uncreated? And they go, yeah. Now the Quran says that Jesus is created. Okay. If Jesus is the word of God, thus proving he is God, how can he be, how can he be a created being? Mm. That's another question to pose to them. So that's just it really, just to just say that to them and, and see what response you get off that. Excellent, that's really good Mike. Thank you very much. No worries.